In this video, we're going to define continuous extensions and removable discontinuities. This is something we're not going to make a lot of use of in this course, but which a math major should be familiar with. When I introduced continuity, I gave you a series of quests of um, functions and asked if they were continuous. And sorry, this is kind of crinkled. But the second function I gave you was this. And what we found was that the limit existed. The limit as x approaches 2 was 3. But the function wasn't continuous at two because this limit three does not equal f of two. Then I showed a third example where it was continuous at two. And notice that this function that is continuous at two, and this function that is not continuous at two, are almost identical. The only difference between the non continuous and continuous function is what happens at two itself. Definition. Suppose a function is not continuous at C, but the limit as X approaches C does exist then the discontinuity at C is called removable. And it's removable in the following sense. You can define a new function that is almost identical to the old function, but is continuous at C. In particular, you define a piecewise defined function and everywhere except at the discontinuity, this new function is just going to be the old function at the discontinuity itself. We define this new function to be the limit of the old function. This function is continuous. So we have removed the discontinuity. And this function has a name. It's the continuous. Extension of F. So, going back to this example, this function was not continuous at one, sorry, at two. But the limit as X approaches to 
does exist. It equals a three. So we took this function and we left it alone, except at the point of discontinuity two, we redefined this function to equal this limit. And the resulting function that we got was continuous at two.